Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. In this video, we will be trying to answer the burning question when the hiring freeze will end in 2024. This term hiring freeze that we have been often seeing since last one or two years and many of the subscribers, many of the people have been asking in the DM, in the comment section that can you tell us expected ETA or expected timeline when this hiring freeze will end. Recently, we also got to know about the news from the Amazon and uh, other one or two companies that they have started again layoffs. So on April 3, Amazon announced that it will be laying off several hundred employees, employees in sales, marketing and global services organization. Earlier, Amazon had laid off in terms of hardware departments, right? And now they will be laying off in terms of sales, marketing and global. So this is the recent update that has come from the Amazon company. Not only that, one of the food ordering platform has laid off 20% of the workers or about 60 people, right? Recently in this particular uh, last week of March itself. So before going to the answer when the hiring freeze will end, let us also see why the hiring freeze is uh, there and what are the different reasons because of which the hiring freeze has been there. So there are various reasons. So the important reasons are the pandemic, the after pandemic things. So what happened during the pandemic is there were a lot of hiring that was done. And not only that, the people were also getting remote jobs. But now if you will see the scenario, the scenario has completely changed. The companies are no longer giving you the remote job opportunities. Even the permanent remote roles has been converted to the work from office roles or the hybrid roles has been converted to work from office roles. And earlier, if you will see in 2021, there was a statement that came up from the Mark Zuckerberg uh, from the Facebook that they feel the work from home is increasing the productivity, but it all got changed. And there were other companies also who gave the same similar kind of statements from McKinsey and a couple of other companies that the work from home is actually increasing the productivity, but it didn't lasted for too long because we are seeing now the companies have made it mandatory for bringing their employees to the office and to work from office itself. Now, there are various reasons for the hiring freeze are the skyrocketing inflation. So there is a lot of inflation that is already going on and the there is also cost cutting pressure. So the companies who have got their investments from the outside, there is a lot of pressure on these companies to get a good ROI, to get a good turnover, right? Recently, if you would have seen the Accenture reports, right? So what is happening is the, um, the people who have invested a lot of money in these companies, they are looking for a immediate turnover. They are looking for a high profit margin. So companies have to deliver those. If they are unable to deliver, then their market prices will fall and hence what they are doing is they are going for layoffs or they are not hiring any more people. If you take an example of a service-based company, in a service-based company, what happens is you are working for some particular customer. You are working for some particular client. They don't have their own product. So what happens is if the, if the client is not giving you any work, then automatically there is less demand in that particular profile or in, in that particular project. Hence, the company will stop hiring anymore. Hence, there will be a hiring freeze. Or they might do that the uh, the person or the employee who is working in one of the project, if he's able to manage in the another project. Right? Those kind of things are happening in the service-based company. In a product-based company as well, if you feel uh, that you are not getting the sufficient amount of investment on your products or projects in which you are working, then what they will do is they will be going for a hiring freeze. So if you will see the inflation, then there's a cost cutting pressure, right? Impact of a strong dollar overseas. So there are tech companies outside who have already got impacted because of that. And then ap apart from that, there is also uh, the tech sectors, which is uh, what is happening in the tech sectors is there are many people out there now in the job market who have already got laid off. So even if there is a one vacancy, there are multiple people applying to it. And then even so what is happening in this scenario, let's say if you are an individual who recently gave all tech interviews. Perfectly, right? 
you were able to manage to clear it and then managerial interviews all or or if you say the client interviews all these kind of interviews you were able to answer all the questions related to software testing manual automation whatever but if they see the profile of someone else who has been laid off and who is also an immediate joiner right you might be working in some company you might be having uh, let's say 45 days 60 days of notice period but at the same time they are trying to get an immediate joiner also so and that also who is available at a less salary at a less pay compared to yourself then they will be hiring you then you might be thinking see i gave all the technical interviews all the managerial interviews properly but still i am not getting call i have received the email that your profile has not been shortlisted you can apply after six months so why such things are happening because the jobs are less for the experienced people and the people who are in the market who are applying are way too more right now what a fresher should do in this kind of situation so as a fresher you should try to relocate some uh, locations like bangalore noida hyderabad pune ahmedabad where a lot of good job opportunities would be there in the upcoming future right so there will be campus off campus will also be taking place so we are expecting that the hiring freeze might be ending in the second quarter of the 2024 year so meanwhile what you can do as a fresher you can upgrade yourself you can relocate to these locations because there are a lot of job opportunities right and if you're an experienced then learn automation automation is the key apart from that there is one more there are a couple of other careers also which are booming in the market so that is cloud computing so there is the demand for cloud computing is increasing day by day right not only that cloud computing even ai automation if you see test automation level of job opportunities that would be increasing day by day now also they are there last week itself we covered a qa success story in that they were asked all the questions related to test automation and java programming apart from that if you will see the cyber security that is also on a demand the companies like tcs cognizant wipro what they have mentioned is we will be hiring more people who will be having knowledge on cyber security because as a fresher it becomes very important that you are aware about cyber security cloud computing and if you are able to have good knowledge in these particular kind of technologies it would definitely help you in the market once the hiring freeze is over right so that's it for this video Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.